What's up everyone, this is Guillaume from Jamzone. I'm making this quick video as promised to show you around the brand new uh, website login. We have released last Thursday the option for you to log into your Jamzone account directly from our website to do different kind of things. And this is just a quick tour of everything that you can do from now on. So as you can see here, I'm already browsing to the jamzone.com homepage and there is a brand new navigation bar at the top. So simply type, tap in, sorry, the login. You can enter your email address and your password. And this will log you in your user account. What can you do from that user account? Well, first thing you can do is edit your account information. So if you are changing email, if you are changing your name, if you want to change your birth date, for example, here, you can change all the information around here. Also declare if you would like to su subscribe to our news and updates. So you can change all this here in the my information block and update your profile. You will have a warning message telling you that this has been accepted and we made a modification on our side. Also, you can modify your password by entering the old one, the new one and confirming it. You can also decide to permanently remove your account by entering your email address twice just so that uh, you double confirm because within seven days of your request, we will completely delete your account and it will lose all the purchases and all the settings that you've set for so far. The second thing that you can do is manage the subscription. So as you must know by now, Gemzone is going to start a subscription model starting from October 1st. This page, my subscription, will evolve then. But at the moment and until the end of the month, it is composed of these two buttons. The second one is simply to compare the different type of subscription plans that we are um, bringing on October 1st. But right now, what you can do until the end of the month is decide to convert your remaining credits into subscription vouchers. So because you've already credited your account uh, of multiple credits, we must convert this value into the new model. So if you click on that button, it will send you to the page that you've received by email as well. So what does this page say? It says convert my remaining credits subscription vouchers will be automatically generated from your remaining credits on October 1st, 2022. And right now on this demo account, I currently have two credits remaining. So I can decide to either convert those two credits into a premium subscription, which will give me one month of premium from my remaining credits if I still have two credits left on October 1st, or because it's a discounted offer for existing um, clients, you can also for those two credits left get one month of pro subscription, you can click on one or the other to display on the right side, whatever is related all the features that are related uh, to those two types of subscription. So here, let's say I'm a performer, I want to use Gemzone on stage or online for content monetization. I select one month of pro subscription from my two credits. I confirm my selection and it will give you a choice approve message and tell you that you can return to this page until the end of the month to change your decision if you want to. So if I want to change my choice, I go back to here, my account, my subscription, change my conversion choice and I can select instead a premium if I do not want to um, have the pro subscription confirm again and this new choice will be registered. So this is how you can uh, select what type of conversion you want for your remaining credits. Note that this page here will update in real time because until October 1st, 2022, the app will behave at is, as it currently does and did in the past, meaning that you can still purchase new credits and you can still spend new credits. So just to illustrate, here I go back to Gemzone. On this account, I currently have 44 five tracks and my two credits are here. If I decide to spend those two credits remaining, on two new songs, so one, two. If I go back, so here I don't have any credits left. 
if I go back to this page, it will tell me that I have no credits left, so I have nothing left to convert. So be very careful. This is about declaring what you want to do with your remaining credits on October 1st, 2022. Until then, everything behaves as usual. So you can either decide to fully spend your credits um, to unlock songs forever, and then if you desire to start a subscription and paying for the first month straight away, or if you want to, you can load up your account with multiple credits and you will benefit from a longer subscription time because the vouchers that we are providing for existing clients are discounted compared to uh, the straight up price new users will have to pay from October 1st. So I hope this clarifies uh, that part about converting remaining credits. The last thing that you can do, and I'm sure you will enjoy, is browsing your library from our website. So here you can see a favorites list. This is empty until the next version of our app. On October 1st, we will also release Gemzone V3 that fully supports our subscription model. All the songs that you have unlocked with credits will be transferred to that favorites list. And of course, if you subscribe, you will be able to add any song from our catalog to your favorites or remove them. The second list that you see here is called purchased. And this is kind of, this will never move. On October 1st, we are taking sort of a photograph of your library of songs unlocked with credits, and this will remain forever accessible to you. So if you ever forget what songs you have unlocked with credits, this list is made for you as a reminder. It will be accessible from your web accounts, and you can see all the songs that have been unlocked with credits here. And then you have all your custom playlists that you can find from the web directly. And the nifty feature that has been had added is to be able to download this document as a CSV. A CSV is simply a text format with separators and you can open that in any um, sheet software. So on Excel, for example, you can open this. Please, on that software, make sure that you are using the UTF-8 encoding when you import. Otherwise, you might have problems of special characters like accents and so on um, on the sheet itself. Otherwise, on numbers here, I'm going to show you. So you just click that CSV and it will open a sheet like this. So you can do plenty of things with that. Reorganize your set list, for example, print it to send to the venue you're going to be playing at. Just can do whatever you feel like with it or, pr or print it to send to a friend. And uh, you can also do that on Google Sheets, which is a free software by simply using the import um, feature, upload a CSV, and it will do the same as on numbers as I just showed you here. So this is it for what you can currently do um, with the Gemzone login on our website. This is a first step. We definitely will work towards bringing new features uh, from the website as well. And we are looking forward to hearing your um, feedback on this and hope you will like it. Thank you so much for listening. And we talk again soon next week for a live stream demonstrating what the new Gemzone V3 uh, is able to do and how the subscription uh, will affect and work out in this new app. Thank you so much for listening. Talk to you soon.